Good morning. Thought we would um, take a little walk around our garden and just kind of see how things are moving along. This guy here planted it in the big bucket. Got tomatoes and sunflowers and I'm not really sure. I planted melons and I planted pumpkins and I planted um, uh, oak gourds and I don't know, this could be a melon. And it's not a watermelon, because I can tell by the seed. And it's not a squash. So I'm thinking I might have a pumpkin there. And I'm not mad about that. <laughs> Here we got some tomatoes that are blooming. Not sure what that is either. So there it is. If you know, let me know. <laughs> I actually have it written down on my phone. And I just have never went back and looked. Because I figure it's going to grow. <laughs> I'm going to find out. <laughs> Then the apple trees are looking good. Look at here. See? The strawberries. I've had a few um, runners that I stuck in the ground. There's a runner I stuck in the ground. I'm excited. Those are, aren't they beautiful? I took one off of there, but that's the ones I just bought this year and I accidentally, um, I mean, I got 10, I got 12 of them and I only have two of them that made it. So I'm thankful for those two. And then this is my four-year-old Pepper. She's finally getting some leaves, uh, some flowers, I mean. But yeah, I didn't think she was gonna pull through. I'm glad she did. Here's this other uh, apple, apple tree. That's the green. The other one's the red. The urban apples, they only get about six to seven, about six feet tall and they don't grow out. They grow at, at an angle uh, vertically. Uh, so I'm excited. And then I had a mole go through here or a vole and it just tore everything up. But I still have that one growing and I've got the mustards. And that's the spaghetti squash and mustards. That mustard got devoured. You can see where the mole went through. Then there's tomatoes. They're doing fine. I think they look pretty good. And then, uh, just go out here into this one. <clears throat> There's a sunflower. It's going to be sunflower, and it's kind of getting. I don't like it when they attach to the flowers. Anyway, so there we go. Look at that. That's going to be a pumpkin, I think. Or, and then could be a squash. I don't know. See how they grow on there, and I pull them off. My kale got munched. I had um, a bunch of bugs and, well, I didn't have bugs. I had the, those worms, the moth, the kale worms, cabbage worms or whatever. But I'm not upset because I got them out. They did eat them, but they're still alive. And I've been getting them out of there. As I find them, I'll pull them out. And, and since they're over there, I seem to have good kale here. And then, ooh, lots of, Tomatoes. And then I have good kale over here as well. So I'm hoping that with them getting in there, those look really good and healthy. I've been harvesting those, as you can tell. I'll get probably two or three more sprigs off of it tonight when I go through, because I have to get, and then the calendula, it's blooming. I'll probably take that little flower, drop it in some water, make me a little baby glass of tea with it, maybe two. Can't wait till it all goes. Look at that mustard. I could eat that. Let's see. Why not? This is um, the curly mustard. Hmm. It's not bad. It does have a little flavor to it. Not bad at all. I like it. It'll go in my next salad. I'll harvest a little bit of that off the top. It does have a little heat to it you know like hmm aftertaste aftertaste is a little rough there's beans that's basil pretty sure it's regular yeah that's the regular basil i have a lemon basil and then i have a cinnamon basil yep and i got over here there's some asparagus 
I actually have an asparagus back there, but I don't know how it's doing. And then this is the lemon balm. She's getting ready to bloom, which I heard that brings a lot of, lot of, lot of pollinators. So I'm excited about the lemon balm. I'm going to make a lemon balm watermelon uh, smoothie out of it after it starts. I mean, probably get some of it before. I don't want to mess with it right now. And then look at that big, beautiful lettuce just sitting there in cilantro. Aren't they beautiful? I will be, I'll be harvesting off of this tonight, too. Ladybug. You can tell the ladybugs from those little beetles because the ladybugs have, see all those spots? All those really dark spots? The other ones have, like, bigger spots and not as many beetles. My lettuce thingy fell over. I'm going to harvest all those seeds. Look at that up wild. Those are leeks. I need to clip them off so they can produce more to the bulb. Um, I'll probably clip those off and saute them. I have a bunch of the garlic pieces that Donald and Kathy told me about. Well, we ended up getting some from Farmer Lady. She had collected them and she was selling them. So we bought a bag of them to saute. So I'll put those with them. Then we've got our our peppers, there's the jalapeno. Isn't that pretty? There's lettuce and there's the ooh, the shishito. That's the cayenne pepper. And that's cayenne. I might have pulled all hers off of her already. And then picnic peppers right here. That's a picnic pepper. Nice. Yeah, those are pretty. Yeah, those are the leeks. I have another strawberry. These are two years old. They got, you know, look, they're getting a couple little berries on them, which would be nice. I'm excited about that. I like berries. And then I have wild onions that are just seeding. So I haven't, I think I'm going to pull a couple of them, keep the seeds, and let the rest of them just reseed. Because these are leeks in here, but I have some wild onions. So I'm excited about wild onions. I like them. And then these I'm just kind of letting go. They usually stop going when it gets really cold, but they're getting some more on there. So I'm going to keep those and reseed. I'm going to keep those and use those in the, in, in the fall, early fall, and replant them. And see if I get more. Why not? What the heck? And then the beans. Oh my gosh. Do I have a bean story? They're growing. They're lush, flush and lush. And they're growing right up the thing like I wanted to. Let me show you. Look at this. There we go. I'll be pulling some of those. We're going to have them tomorrow with the with dinner. So I got a bunch of those in here. See? I'm, I'm really excited. I'm going to, I already had one little harvest we had and they were really good. We put them in the uh, Instapot with some little mini potatoes and cooked them and they were just so good and I'm hoping to do that again. It'll be yummy. I'm ex it's like I said, I'm excited. It's just good. And, and you know, I'm really blessed and I pray and hope that it just keeps growing and providing and being healthy and I can help it grow and provide for it and keep it healthy. And we make, make each other's lives happy, happy plants, happy people, happy people, happy plants. <laughs> I know I'm a dork. Let's look in here. I haven't checked in this cabinet probably in a week. Uh oh, all the spinach is gone. That lettuce head looks beautiful. I'm gonna get some of that for dinner, and that one I'll just let it grow for the roly ponies. Clearly, they do not like that one. I do, so that works for me. But they ate all of the lettuce. I might have to just grab some leaves and throw in there for the roly polies. Thinking about, uh, thinking about, uh, Making a worm farm out of that. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. All right. And then we got some beans over here too. Yep, there's a couple. See them? There we go. These I planted, but they, you know, they don't get a lot of sun, and that's that's one thing that happens. I mean, even if you you get your plants to grow in this in the shade, they'll they'll grow, but they'll grow slow very slow and you may not get as big a fruit or big a crop but you'll still get something and you know i mean sometimes even just a small bean is better than no bean that's it's my philosophy i guess 
look at this here. I got one watermelon right there, and then I got that one, and I think that's a pumpkin. So, and they get a little light. They're in a pretty good spot, but this tree's growing up, and this one's growing. I'm going to have to trim them down, and then, you know, it'll grow. It just won't be as big and beautiful as the other ones, but it might be. Who knows? And then, I got flowers there that I got from Deb. There's some more I planted around. There's that wild fern that's going to grow. There's some more flowers. And there's some of my seeds I threw out four different kinds I'm seeing what comes up but and then the kale this is all kale Ooh, something got a hold of that kale and then this kale might have to come spray out here and keep the things from the critters from eating them I need to come get a couple and trans and and move them and then I just did this for the I'm getting my shed here and I filled this in yesterday I have some balsams there and I have some balsams down there and all the way down there we don't need to go down yonder, do we? So that's about it. Uh, oh, I wanted to show you my little ochres. Look at these little baby ochres, and they got little ochres on them. I know. It's wild. Oops, pulled that flower off, but there's the okri. There we go. Those are the three I planted. They're not very tall to be producing already, which I'm really kind of surprised, but I have some more over here. Um, those are the pumpkins. And then the melons down there. Let me see what I got here. I knew they were gonna grow up near the melons, so we'll just put this one right here. And let it just oop, let it just grow. Just like that. And then opens up for the melons. Those are watermelons. And then these are pumpkins. And I want them to grow up. I got a bean here, and it's kind of growing up. But yeah, I knew that was going to grow. I just wanted it to grow up instead of over my melons. I haven't been out here in a couple of days, so... And I just harvested three pieces of the squash out of there, which I'm excited about. And then we'll look at the okra, and then we'll be done. Uh, these are black-eyed peas through here. And then this is all basil. Mmm, that's lemon basil. It smells just so lemony. It's just really nice. And then I have a lettuce there, and a lettuce here, and a lettuce there, and more beans. I got some tomatoes. And then I got my okras. They're not, okra's not doing as great as I thought it would this year, but I got a few of them coming up. That's not okra, that's a lamb's quarter, but it's still edible, supposedly. I've ate a couple. And then what do we got here? Uh, tomatoes there and there waiting for them to start to turn i'm excited about those too because they're pretty and i think they're little toms i planted tomatoes all over and that one i got i think that one i might have got from earth dance when i won a package and i put it out there but sometimes i can't be sure until i look at my notes but that's about it you know there's the garden some of it and uh just, you know, stay safe and stay healthy and be nice to each other. Have a great day. Bye-bye.